what's up welcome back to another live stream Let's just wait for the stream to load here. We're gonna be opening all of these uh, these epic. What's up? Welcome to another stream. What's up, mobile gamer? What's up, Mikel? <clears throat> Poor them voice. Just getting up. Alright. It's in the asset store today. Nothing too good. So you share on Discord, okay? All right, sounds good. I'm gonna get two more shares out then, since you're gonna do the Discord share, Jason. Hey, what's up, Roman? opening all these crates I, uh, I got them over the last two days I would say yesterday I got one epic and one legendary so we're gonna be opening all those today off and this goes only got the carver in the GP crate yeah the GP crate uh, reward system is a bit crazy level one stroll or level one Lewis for what series level six stroll or level one Lewis series six to five all right, let me see. Mm. All 
All right, so here, here's what it, here's how you're gonna do it, Roman. You're gonna put uh, Hamilton on, like that. Then you're gonna go and select stroke. You're gonna look for the pluses. As you can see right now, a max uh, stroll only have two pluses on a level three Hamilton. So the level three Hamilton uh, should be better than a max stroll. Then that that means Louis, Lewis Hamilton is the better the better driver than he has more pluses. The only one you use uh, Stroll for wet races, like GP. Like if you're in your GP events, uh, wet races, you can use Stroll. Exactly, exactly, Roman. Now let's go into a race. Poland hasn't been good. Alright, we're gonna go with soft tires either way. Let's go hard Kimmy, soft Albon. Didn't get a pretty decent start, but I saw. Hey, what's up, KJ? What's up, Carl Davis? Welcome to another stream. What did I get in the GP crate? Uh, I think it was for uh, Carlos Sainz. That's what I got in the GP crate. For Carlos Sainz. Uh, the GP, uh, I think they need to revisit the GP system. Definitely think so. The rewards are really, really crazy in the GP events. What's up, 
Alan, welcome to another stream. Yeah, they definitely need to revisit uh, the rewards for the GP events. Pretty crazy. That's a cut down to me. Albon pulled way in the back here. And not doing any overtaking to catch up. <clears throat> so I think he's going to stay, stay in the back. What's up, Speedy? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, the GP system is, yeah, speedy first stream. All right. Happy that you are here. Hope you like it. If you have any questions you want to ask live, you can. What's up, Slug DZ? How you doing, bro? So you got that good start yesterday, and then this guy does overtook you pretty crazy awesome speedy so you're a part of the family it's just your first stream all right they appreciate you bro welcome oh have you got a 0.99 pit grunt all right, I'll show you. It's a, it's a, it's a secret tune. One of my secret tunes. Uh, but I'll show you. This one I've been showing uh, for the last week or so. So though this one started off a little slow, and we looked like we weren't gonna make it, as you can see, always stick to your strategy. No matter what the outcomes looks like. Uh, in the beginning, you can still come up and come for the win. That's all right, Lucas. Yes, look, DZ. That's what that's what I realized. That's what I realized, bro. You gotta be grinding, grinding all day and all night. Take no breaks. You wanna be at the top, unless you're gonna use uh, you know what I mean. I ain't even gonna say it. I'm currently down to 21st. Let me look. All right, so this guy put in work last night and got up to 34. I was about uh, 12th place last night. So these guys have been putting in the work. Andre here was way down below me. He put in the work, got his way up there. <laughs> there you are at Fort now, DZ. Pretty crazy. This guy did uh, 181 billion in 24 hours I think that's multiple device still think that people are using multiple devices in the game that's what I think all right so this is the tune this is a tune Luke hey what's up I this is the tune Luke if you wanna if you wanna try it out, the fast bit time tune. That's it. So my average is one point six two seconds. So sometimes it go down 
No sub one seconds. I wish I could have spent my construction points more wisely. I've got to get to series 7 for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Kimi Raikkonen was a uh, first buy with construction points. He was the best buy overall. Alright, let's open this epic crate. See what we get. So, uh, I'm now at the point where <laughs> I'll be getting waste crates. Alright, we got some Albon 15. Waste. One hummingbird, that's alright. That's our main part. And then we get Danny Ricardo. What the hell am I gonna do with Danny Ricardo? Who knows? Alright, let's start this one. This is crazy. Let's go. I'm beginning to think uh, that the free crates are no good. Why couldn't I get uh, 7 Lewis Hamilton, 7 Max Verstappen, even 7 Sebastian Vettel would have been better than getting this damn Danny Ricardo, getting this damn Carlos Sainz all the time. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be uh, retuning KJ in a bit. Uh, what I've noticed though, what I've noticed uh, that now a lot of people are using the fast pit time tunes. A lot of people. When I say a lot, I mean a lot. Yesterday I raced with a few good amount of people, and they were on fast pit time tunes. I barely won some of the races, and I lost the rest. It was crazy. I was like, damn, these guys are pitting real fast. <laughs> Wonder who they got that one from. <laughs> you know what I mean? Pretty crazy. So I'm going to be uh, trying to retune the car a bit to give it a little more uh, performance with the pit time. Yeah, I don't even know the Leclerc. Why didn't they give me short some Leclerc? Instead of giving me damn Donny Ricardo. Sick of it, man. How did I get those crates? Uh I used the crate strategy. Uh the, the crate strategy to get epic crates. Uh, I made a video of it about it. So it's where you use your bucks to always ensure you have a free crate slot uh, before each race. And that will give you uh, a higher chance of getting epic crates. It's in the video catalog if you want to look it up and get a more detailed uh, look. Alright, that race is in the bag from here. Good race, Hugo. Did you watch the last F1 race in Austria? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Lewis Hamilton got that one. Valley Bottas did a good race. Max Verstappen also ran a good race. Had some issues with his car. But yeah, Team Mercedes all the way, bro. Did pretty decent. Team Ferrari had issues <laughs> from the start. Uh, that's just how it is, I guess. Could happen to anyone. Yeah, well, it was a pretty smooth race. MVP Carlos Sainz. Carlos Sainz did pretty... What I'm saying? Carlos Sainz? No. Uh, Sergio Perez, I should say, did pretty well in that race. And that car was pretty interesting. I hear uh, 
some protesting going to go on about that car that Sergio Perez has. A racing point car. Yeah. That car is pretty interesting. Lando and McLaren. Pretty good as well. I think it, that's your that's your team. Yeah, I would. Oh, we missed bit here. All right, we're gonna continue. Due to me talking. <coughs> Yeah, so, KJ, uh, see, uh, things like that, you want to you wanna show your best face. You know what I mean? Uh, the car crashed, and it was basically your fault, in a, in a sense. It was basically his fault, in a sense. Cause he, he, he tried to dive bomb at that corner there, causing the accident, so... I would, if it was me, I would have been apologizing as well, so. Show the better face, you know. Alright, so yeah. This race is definitely in the back from here. And that's a good win. Good race, Hugo. No match here. But as I said, a lot of people are using now the fast tune, pit tune. Uh, I'm not sure if Hutch now uh, takes it into consideration to match to match you uh, when they're doing the matchmaking. At first time, uh, I, I doubt it was taken into consideration for matchmaking, the fast pit tune. We're gonna cut down since we're out of tires. This is why I don't go to pit and I don't do a 4-3 strategy here or in any 7 lap races as a matter of fact. Uh, because your drivers are going to run out of tires on the last lap. And if we were racing against a competitive uh, opponent then he would have passed us just on the line. So this is why I always say use the 4-3, the 3-2-2 two, two strategy for seven lap races. Doesn't matter if it's raining or not. Go with the 3-2-2. Two, two. Oh, Sebastian, the guy in the first race, you know him, KJ. <laughs> All right. Oh, you don't have Federer or Hummingbird, what you should use. All right, so if you don't have uh, the Hummingbird, uh, the next best two parts to use is either the Gateway if you have the gateway, you want to use the gateway or you want to use the slider. So gateway or slider. The Federer is, has been there from day one. So if you have the Minimax, you can go for the Minimax or the Vacuum. Either one, Minimax or Vacuum. You can go for either one if you don't have uh, the Federer. Alright. Yeah, so go with the slider. I know he has a smoke screen. He's at uh, series five to six. Yeah, so go with the Minimax. 
All right, let's see what we get with this legendary crate. Nine epics. Let's see if it's another legendary waste crate. Common all waste. As we already have all our commons. All right, we got 78 gateway. That's all right. Lando Naris 10. That's all right. Smooth Operator 2, Lewis Hamilton. Man, I'm gonna blow. I, I, I have issues with this guy, Carlos Sainz. I'm sick of getting Carlos Sainz in my epic crates. I'm sick of it. What am I gonna do with Carlos Sainz? I'm sick of it, man. Sick of it. My first level 4 epic, Carlos Sainz. Oh well. Guess it's free epic, so what do you expect? <laughs> oh boy. He might be usable now at level 4, right? Yeah, KJ. Definitely. As he's now level 4, so he should be usable. Right? Yeah, I doubt it. Highly doubt it, bro. Highly doubt it. Alright, let's go. We're gonna open the, the next one. After the next race. Go Kimi. Alright. We got the pull. Let's go down now. We're going to go with the 4-2-2 here. Ben Cox got a good start on us with his Kimi. Got up to 8th place. As you can see, he's also conserving. He's using the conserve strategy. <laughs> once you see uh, on your big, big screen, once you see your driver uh, rival and cars are stocking up behind your rival, he's definitely conserving. Yeah, I'll, I'll, okay, KJ, I'm, I'll give him a try. We'll see. I d <clears throat> doubt he's going to be any good, but I'll give him a try. Let's give or give me a little boost here. Try to sneak up on a rival. Let's get up to this crowd. Alright, so we're up there. Cut down. I just saved my bucks and buy Hamilton cards every two weeks. Yeah, that's a good that's a good strategy to use. Andreas, good strategy there. Though Hamilton don't come in my shop very often, uh, and I I won the overall impact from crates. I would say. I would prefer to go with the overall impacts on crates. We're gonna go into soft tires. All right, let's cut down our drivers. Let's cut down Albon and boost Kimi into pit. Let's see if our rival is paying attention to the weather. All right, let's see if he's also using fast pit tunes. All right, so or two or pit time is faster than his, so he got beaten in the pits. <laughs> That's the thing with a fast pit time tune. Once your rebel is not on fast pit time, once you go into go into the pit lane behind him, 
he's gonna get you're gonna get out uh pretty fast he's gonna get us stuck all right hey what's up the flash uh, flash what's up bro welcome to your stream good to see you here Science is useless at level 4 unless at level 7. Alright, said from the guy, TR Flash, he definitely has <clears throat> a lot of high level epics. <clears throat> so once he says that, then that's how it is. Yeah, we're going to get out before our arrival here. Possible with bolt drivers. <laughs> Oh, all right. So, well, we did get out with boat drivers before our arrival. So that's the key with fast pit time here. Fast pit time is just crazy when when you go into pit. Yeah, that's just crazy when you go into pit with fast pit time. Wait, with a rival that ha doesn't have fast pit time, he's gonna hurt. He's gonna hurt pretty hard. I would be pretty upset if I see somebody going into pit with both drivers and both of his drivers get out before my driver. I would be pretty upset. <laughs> Alright, Kimmy suffering a breakdown here. Late, late, late in the race. That's pretty good when your drivers break down on the last lap. I only got signs at level 4 and he's the worst driver. <laughs> like, Alright TR, I got you bro. Yeah, fast pit time too is pretty funny. Pretty insane when you're running on fast pit. Alright, so we're gonna open in. What's up Jack Timothy? We're going to be opening our final legendary crate. But you need to change your tune and get it down to a fast pit time tune then, Jack Timothy. Uh, just tune for the parts that gives you the parts that give you uh, the most pit time. All right, fingers crossed that we don't get color signs as I have him up to level eight. Please give us some good, good parts. I will take the bungee over all those parts that you just gave. Please, please, good parts. Let's go. At least we got some hex. Waste wing. White suspensions. Yes, that's good. Thank you. Kimmy now. Ah, Kriat. All right. First. Oh, thought it was the first epic. So we're going to get all 12 of one part. Smooth operator. We got 16. Uh, I would have ta taken a. Uh, the blinker over the smooth operator there well the final crate wasn't all that bad uh alban got some parts so we're just 42 parts away alban from max level that's good so that's not bad uh kj says we should give carlos signs <laughs> uh look look at this man carlos sign ain't no good bro we ain't gonna use carlos signs carlos signs is no good at all uh, we didn't we didn't get anything to level up from those crits nope smooth operator so two more of those to get it up to the next level
All right, so uh, we just got a tune send in uh, by Roshish. And we're gonna test it out and see its performance. It's pretty good, looks pretty good. So he has the Minimax, he has the Gateway, he has that one, he has that one, he has the Mantis. So I guess it's a fast pit time tune without, without the Epics. So if you don't have the Epics, then this tune could work for you. Yeah, so if you don't have the epics, <coughs> pardon me, if you don't have the epics, uh, this tune should work for you. Looks like a pretty decent tune. Uh, sub two seconds. And why are we racing KJ? KJ, why did you match us uh, while we're testing a tune, bro? Come on, KJ. This race doesn't count. Make sure you know that, bro. This race doesn't count, KJ. Because my car is not competitive here. No, KJ. No. This race does not count, KJ. Let's see if I get a good start. All right. I, the start is close, but KJ pit time is going to be a bit faster than mine. So, KJ, this race don't count, bro. As I'm testing this tune. Send in by Rashis. All right. Let's start with a boost. We're going to give it all. All we have, same way. Oh, I'm getting a good start here. Let's see if Kimmy can get up. Go, Kimmy. Keep that inside line, Kimmy. All right, so Albon stole this start here. Good start from Albon. Good start from Kimmy also. KJ has a faster pit time, uh, so we'll have to take that into mind. His tune, his pit time is going to be sub one, one seconds, while this pit time is going to be one seconds and something. One second and some. So we'll have to keep that in mind. At least we got a good start here. KJ's boosting, his Perez. Bit early there for the boost, but. We're going to use some boost too, but not, not so early. <clears throat> we want to time it and use it like now. Now, it's pretty hard to race. Uh, all right, so KJ used a little extra boost. So we're currently going to be uh, in the pluses on fuel. All right, let's cut back down. And he went to pit pretty early there. So we're in the pluses on fuel. And we have one pit up on him so far. Alright, so we're going to start a boost here to pit. And then we're going to start a boost here to pit. He was in pit a good distance with his Kimi there. So I wonder if he's rocking a new tune. And not using the fast pit time tune. Who knows. We'll find out right now once his Kimmy and my Kimmy goes into pit. There we go, 208. Pretty long. And let's see, 172. Yeah, so pretty decent pit time there from both drivers. 208 took a long time to come up. But pretty decent. All right, so he's saving to boost uh, in the farm. So we're gonna boost now. Let's go, Kimmy. You can get the jump on KJ's Kimmy here. Though this race uh, is not gonna count <laughs> as I'm testing stuff. All right, he's now gonna boost. His Kimmy looks like he's going to run out of tires before getting back to pit if he continues boosting. And he's keeping that boost on. Let's keep an eye on him. He's keeping that boost on his Kimmy. He should run out of tires before making his back to pit. Let's see. 
No, he didn't run out of tires. He should stock here. Mm -hmm. Little stock. Good for us. All right, so yeah, this race is in the back. Good race. Well done. <laughs> so we're testing this tune. We got that good start on KJ. So that's why we are able to win this one. We got that good start. It's all about the starts, really. If you get that good start, then your driver can keep up, maintain his position. If you get a bad start, however, you can get good poles. And then you get a you can get a good qualifying. And then you get a bad start. So you can you both both of your drivers can qualify in front, and then you get that bad start, and they fall back in the start, while your rival get a good start. And he's all both of his drivers are all the way in front of your drivers. You're gonna lose. That's just how it is. So KJ's saved up some fuel to boost in the final lap. Well, we're going to be just cruising in, in the final lap. As we don't want to be boosting in the final lap. And that's a good race. We need to get around. There we go. Don't want to run or Kimmy out of fuel there. So that was a good race. Yeah, it was a good start. All right, Rashis, your team beat KJ, so yeah, pretty decent tune. <laughs> so if you don't have a, if you don't have a, if you don't have the epics, then you can go uh, with this setup. Pretty decent, fast pit time tune. All right, so for those guys that don't got the epics, you're in the lower series. Uh, this is a tune that you want to use all right for a fast pit time all right let's get back to i was using the mantis in like 2.0 or 3.0 somewhere about there and i switched it out to the bungee I was using the gateway before I got the hummingbird. And then I need the Federer to bring up my reliability to an okay level. Because if I run this car, it's going to break down pretty often. Pretty often. So I use the Federer to bring up that reliability to 34 uh, to give me a better chance of not breaking down. All right, so let's open this crate. That's just a waste crate, as I'm going to be gunning to get some more epic crates as I go along throughout the day. Use Verstappen and Albon, Red Bull. <laughs> All right, next race. All right, so we got a good pole good qualifying I'm trying to switch it up to the official language good qualifying here as pole position is the driver that got first place I know this but I just like to call it polling <laughs> all right so good qualifying here let's see if our drivers get that good start all right we could say we got a good start Albon there Taking all of that outside line for himself, pretty decent. That used to that remind those when I see Albon do drives like that, it reminds me of Verstappen. Verstappen is the master of the opening space. So once you're using Verstappen, though his consistency is a bit low, once you're using Verstappen and he sees the opening, 
let's say about let's say 10 cars are lined up on one side of the track he's not gonna go and fall in the line he's gonna use that opening to his van his advantage and make his way down the line yeah max uh max about level four level five is gonna be pretty usable don't matter his consistency at that point once you have him at level five it's definitely usable what's up darmantic here here i go again calling you darmantic <laughs> what's up darmaniac <laughs> it's pretty crazy <laughs> all right man thank you bro How is Chico? As Perez, he's doing pretty all right. I haven't used him since uh since that update that the game got broken, where overtaking wise, and then they refixed it. Uh, Albon was broken, and he got fixed in that fix. So Albon has been my second main driver. Uh. Didn't notice the rain there, but that's all right. We're way, way in front. And we have time to do one extra lap. Then we're going to go into rain tires now. Let's go back to pit into wet tires because we don't have time to go around again. What's up, TR Zero? Yeah, Albon was fixed in the last update, bro. He was fixed, so he doesn't doesn't get stuck a lot anymore behind drivers. Remember that Albon that used to get stuck behind drivers in like every single race. Yeah, this Albon don't get stuck uh, too much. If he's getting stuck, he's going to be attacking, trying to find a way around. That's what this Albon does. There you go, inside. <laughs> I knew Albon was going to take that inside. <laughs> I knew Al Albon was going to take... Uh, the old Albon would have gotten stuck right there. That old Albon would have gotten stuck behind those two drivers, but this Albon is not going to get stuck at all. He's going to get the job done. Sometimes Albon pulled in 20 position, and at the finishing of the race, he's like in 8th position. So yeah, pretty decent. Alright, we're going to run out of tires, so we're going to go back to pit now as we're way way in the lead so we can afford to go back to pit one more time so how much pit pit is this uh so it's gonna be three pits <laughs> pretty crazy but we're way in the lead so it doesn't matter albon uh i would only say he he pulls Good and bad sometimes. I've only seen the only the only I've seen with Albon since since the latest update uh, is his is his qualifying. Yeah, his qualifying is a bit off at times. Sometimes Kimi will be pulling uh, qualifying. <laughs> Here I am saying pulling again. Uh, sometimes Kimi uh, will be qualified in the top ten. And Albon will be qualified in like 22. <laughs> so yeah, that's the only issue that I see with Albon. His qualifying is a bit off at times. But his driving makes up for his qualifying. As I said, if he's qualified in 18th position, once you get him on that soft tire, He's gonna get a good start and make his way uh, up to like 12th place from the start. 
Hey, what's up, Frederick? How you doing, bro? Welcome to the stream. What's the best team to pick for most races? Uh, it depends on the series that you are in TR0. Like, if you're in Series 12, then the best two drivers are going to be Albon and Kimi. Or Albon and Perez team. Or if you have your Lewis Hamilton at a higher level, uh, Kimi and Kimi and Hamilton team, or Kimi and Perez team, you know, you can switch it up. So let's go give Perez a drive. As you can see, Albon is way better than Perez, level seven on paper, and Max Albon is going to be better than Max Perez. So let's go give her as a drive and see how he's going to perform. Let's open this crate. <laughs> I wish I could bite, bro. Okay. I only wish I could bite, bro. Only wish. Offer of the day. $10.06. I don't got that. Oh yeah, here's a hack. If you're gonna be buying crates, if you're gonna be buying crates, here's a hack that you can use. Pretty decent hack, by the way. Uh, tell no one I told you this hack. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so uh, in 2019, when we were, when we were. Uh, doing countdown races over there in Rafi's Discord. Uh, we used to use uh, VPNs to put ourselves in the same server so we we could get a match easier, all right? And what I noticed uh, once with a VPN is, you see how the offer is saying it's $10 and nine cents and six cents? If we should go on to log on to a VPN and put yourself in uh, Romania, once you put your VPN to log you into Romania, that price should go down to about seven dollars. It's pretty crazy. So that's a pretty cool app. You can try it out if you're going to be buying crates. Uh, you're going to be spending your money and buy some crates. Uh, you could give that a try. So use the VPN, log into the game, uh, into about Romania, and then the price is going to go way, way down. Alright. Alright, so we got a good start here from Perez and Kimi. We're going to be focusing mainly on KJ's favorite driver, Sergio Perez. <laughs> We're going to be focusing mainly on Perez. Yeah, we were using GoVPN. So if you download GoVPN, it's gonna bring down the costs for your crates. If you put it in Romania. Time to boost. Bring our go to pit orders. Time to boost. Rival gone to pit. Once it, once a ride, I'm racing somebody and they go to pit on the first lap of the spa. They're definitely gonna lose. <laughs> so yeah, that race is in the bag. I'm racing KJ now. Nice Roshish. Nice. Let me know how that race goes. Who's leading so far? Man, I wish what I wish. What I wish. The main feature I wish for this game. The main yeah, go VPN, go G O G O VPN. If you search that in your app store, you should find it. Go VPN, G O VPN. Uh, the main thing that I wish comes to F1 Manager is like a manager si system where where we can form like groups. I think I heard, I think I heard uh 
Coach Chris, Chris talk about it uh, in that MMA meeting that we had on Discord a few weeks ago. He said that we're working on it. It's going to be like a managerial groups, so we can group form like groups together, right? So let's say about 50, 50 manager in each group, and we can form a group. And the main feature I would like is for spectating mode, so we can spectate on each other's race. That would be pretty epic to come to the game. All right, so we're in our next boost lap. This race is in the bag from the start. Our rival going to pit in the first, first lap. That's just insane. Who does that? <laughs> yeah, just like plans. Just like that, Jeff, Timothy. Just like Clash of Plans. That would be epic if that comes to F1 Manager. RK said and also update the drivers to more realistic stats. Uh, what I would like to see is a way we can earn earn a specific uh, specific let's see uh, upgrade points for each driver. Uh, if if they should uh, make a system where we can earn up points for each driver, and then we can choose where we want to upgrade our drivers, if we want to make them uh, better overtakers, better defenders, that would be pretty crazy. I think I I would, if, if that was the case, if that was the case, yeah, that would be definitely, definitely nice also, Frederick for that to come into play. And once you're in that clan and, and, and you are you can race each other as well, that would be epic. It's gonna be a lot of work uh, server side, but they can get it done. So as I was saying, uh, RK, if I could uh, upgrade each driver level, what I will do, take a driver like Kimmy, that I know has beast defense and max out his defense. <laughs> And then I will take a driver like Alba that I know I have good overtaking and max out his consistency. So at all times, Alba is going to pull in front of Kimi. And at all times, Kimi is going to hold the rest of the team behind. <laughs> that would be crazy. <laughs> that would be definitely crazy. Alright, so I, I take it KJ got beat by Rashish there. Awesome race. Hope it was a close one. Hope it was a close one. It wasn't too far. Yeah, that was a good race. So Perez did some pretty good driving in our last race there. Alright. Let's open this crate real quick. We're gonna go into another race. We got one Kimmy from that rare crate. That's nice. All right, let's go back into another race with Sergio Perez. So if you're up for a match, you can try to search while I search. <clears throat> and then there goes DZ. All right, Slug DZ. Let's go. I think he won the last race we got. He got a good start. Let's see if we get this good start from Perez. KJ and Roshi smashed again. <laughs> All right, awesome, bro. Awesome. All right, so we got a... Uh, what circuit is this? Melbourne? All right. Let's see if I can play this one uh, with the split strategy with Perez.
All right, DZ is going uh, switch strategy as well. His split is uh, at the back. Or split is in the front. Go Kimi. Go Perez. Getting that good start. Nice. Kimi and Perez took that start from DZ there. So see, as I was saying, uh, sometimes you get good pulls. But then you get a bad start. All right, go in front Perez, pretty nice. Kimi's now gonna hold this entire, the entire ha back half of the track behind him. Let's see if, if our rival here is on hard tires. All right, Perez is on a soft tire, so he's gonna challenge Kimi. So we'll have to pay close attention to Perez. Let's give Kimi some boost. Cut back down now. We'll have to pay close attention to Perez here. Is he's gonna try to attack Kimi. And we want our Kimi go boost. We want our Kimi to hold the rest of the track <laughs> and give DZ a warm time around there. All right, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not focusing in the comments right now as I'm focusing on this race. <laughs> I'll get to the comments in a minute. Let's start the boost phase with both drivers. All right, Perez did well there. We're gonna boost him into pit. And we wanna boost uh, Kimi as well. Who's that behind us? All right, so Londo Norris is behind us. Kim, or Kimi, we're gonna cut down and let Kimi slow no Lando Norris down. So Norris will be blocking Slug DZ Kimi. There we go, get that block on. DZ Kimi gonna get around that Norris. All right, you got around. And let's boost now. So we get by these cars in pit. All right, and we're gonna go to pit. Let's go up to regular driving. Let's cut back down Perez there. As we wanna get to pit in 10th place here. DZ is gonna go to pit with his Hamilton as well. All right, let's boost now into pit. So we have a good distance in his Hamilton. Let's boost or Perez to get a few overtakes via pit. Let's cut back down because we're not in the boost phase. We're now going to be in our boost phase with or Kimi. Pretty decent here. Let's give him a smiley face. <laughs> And a good luck. <laughs> so we're gonna go back to fit in the six. Everything is looking pretty decent here. <laughs> Perez is also holding. All right, so it's gonna be a wet re pit. Keep that in mind. It's gonna be wet. All right, so we're now gonna boost Perez, and we're gonna put in our go to pit orders with both drivers into wet tires. And yeah, that race is definitely in the bag from here. Kimi putting in some good driving. DZ driver getting stuck on that McLaren car. Should be Norris. Norris is a bit of a tough guy to get around at times. All right, so we're gonna be stocking. So let's cut down with Kim here. Let him hold DZ back. DZ is out of tires. And or Kimi should get in just in time. Bye DZ. He went back to soft tires we went to wet tires he forgot <laughs> we're paying attention to the weather <laughs> so these he wasn't paying attention to the weather there what's going on now in the comments as that race is in the bag <laughs> kj having a hard time there against Roshis again David Greece, hello, are you able to drive Grosjean in Vettel in Monaco and hard tires on the green fuel? Yes, yes you can. I, I type my emojis too fast. <laughs> yes you can bro. 
All right. So if your if your vessel and Grosjean is giving you, David, here is the here is the trick with Monaco. All right. Here's the trick with Monaco. You want to go for five laps and do a one pit strategy on Monaco. All right. So for Monaco, David, you want to do a one stop strategy. You want to go for five laps. Grosjean at my level, max level, can give me five laps on soft tires. Let me look and see. Uh, Vettel at this point is not. I think uh, Vettel is not able to give me five laps in Monaco. But Grosjean can. Vettel can also give me five laps at level three on Monaco, right? Let's put Vettel on. Let's see if we can go on find. Hopefully we can get matched to Monaco. Let me see if if I have all my flags maxed out in Monaco. Monaco, Monaco. Beautiful Monaco. Where are you? Alright, so my flags are not maxed out, but I'm gonna go ahead and get it done. Series 7. Let's see if he's in the higher series. Alright, so my flags are not maxed out for Monaco, but I'm gonna race Series 7 anyways. Get it done. Alright, we're gonna try a match on Monaco here so we can show you exactly uh, how I like to race in Monaco. Wait, uh, if if any of you guys want to get a race with me here, you can come down to Series 7. We're going to race a race in Series 7, so if you want to race against me here, you can come down to Series 7 and we can search. Alright, so just, just type 1 and I'll search as you search. All right, Rishi says ready. All right, so we're gonna go search. B and T. No, I guess that's not on none of you guys. All right, we got Monaco. All right, so David. I'm going to show you exactly. Rashi says KJ again. <laughs> Did you search on Monaco, Rashi? Yeah, KJ. Seems like you guys are destined to race, race the entire day, bro. <laughs> All right. All right. So as you can now, as you can see now, David, uh, Vettel level four, level three is not giving you four laps. So if you get your Vettel, not giving you five laps. So if you get your Vettel up to if you get your Vettel up to, uh, if you get your Vettel up to, uh, level four, he should be able to give you five laps. All right, I, we're going to test Vettel here. We're going to start off with a boost, and we're going to cut down pretty fast so we can get a maximum amount of laps out of Vettel. All right, so we're cutting down pretty fast so we can get a maximum amount of laps from Vettel. Let's see if he can give us five. How you want to know if you can get five laps from a driver uh, is that you want to start the race on conserve and then once 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 you pass the finish line with that driver you check your tire percentage if you have 80 percent of tires remaining <laughs> kj said he needs to forfeit <laughs> all right so so david if you if you're at 80 percent as you can see Grosjean passed the line with 80%. Vettel about across the line at 80%. So here we can uh, five laps from Vettel. So if your Vettel is at level three, then you can get five laps on soft tires by not boosting at the start. You just want to give it a little boost to start the race. As a race start, you want to cut the boost off and let them run and start the race and get comfortable in their own positions. All right. So that's the only way you're going to get those five laps out of Vettel. All right. Grosjean is good for five. All right. But Vettel is not at level three. So you have to conserve. There we go again. 60. So you have to conserve all the way with Vettel for five laps. All right. You can't use any extra boost or anything. Or rival here. 
has been boosting. He's going to go to pit in the third or the fourth lap. You don't want to go. You don't want to do a two-stop strategy for Monaco, as all the AI cars are going to run for a one-stop strategy. That's Monaco, one stop. All right. Oh, you forfeit and you start back and you got uh, Singapore again. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 that's just the same comments that I read out before. So how is it going now, you guys in, in Singapore? How is it going? Hey, Gaming with King. Do you recommend to play the series which you get? All right, just a minute, guys. Just a minute, guys. All right, so we're going to go to pit now. All right, so as you can see, Bethel still has 21 remaining. So we're going to go to pit pretty close here. So this is the only way you're going to get five laps out of Vettel and Grosjean for Monaco. Then we're going to start our boost phase. Oh, it's wet. No, we're not going to go wet tires with that either, as it's 30 seconds to wetness, 25 seconds to wetness. You don't want to go to wet tires 25 seconds out, as your rivals are going to boost, boost past you. If you're racing a competitive rival, he's going to boost, boost by. All right. So this is how you want to use uh well, let me turn on the comments there you go all right all right so that race that's how you want to race on monaco Alright, that's how you want to race on Monaco. Just give me a second here, guys. I'm going to go mute for a second. I'll be right. Alright, so that race is in the bag. 18 likes on the video. Remember to leave a like on the stream, guys. And if you're new to the channel and you're not yet subscribed, you can go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you get notified whenever we're doing another live stream or whenever we post another F1 Manager video, which is like every other day. So, yeah. Alright. Alright, let's get back. Let's get back to the comments. So Rashis. Somebody said, hey Gaming with King, do you recommend to play the series which you have haven't unlocked or formed the previous series for Max Flag? Alright, so me personally, Roder, me personally, uh, once I unlock a new series, this is when I when I was just formed when I was just uh racing through I didn't play for max flags in any series at all when I was pushing to series 12 the game is just updated so it was a pretty easy to go up to the higher series at that at that point so I wasn't really waiting as long as I unlock the next series I would have gone up to the next series and pushed through so I wasn't waiting at all but uh, I wouldn't recommend going for max flags as higher flags will uh, appear for matchmaking all right so once you have a lot of if you have max flags you're going to be matching with a lot of people with max flags uh, so the higher your flag count is the higher you're going to be matched with people that you really don't want to match with all right so me personally this is why i try to keep my flag level below as you can see, the highest my flags has gone to is 6,062 or something like that. 
and I keep trying to keep it just below that average. I don't want it to go over because I don't want to match with a certain kind of players that has max flags. Though I still match with some them some of the time, but I try to keep it uh, below a bit. All right, Lucas. We're gonna be racing with Lucas. So that's what I do with flags. George Davis says, I use your strategy when it starts to rain. Uh, pretty, just switch into rain tire, wet tires. Uh, it can also, all right, here we go with a wet race all through. So it's the same strategy in wet races. Uh, what you need to do, what you, all right, so there's, there's a few things. There's a few things you need to uh, keep in mind, George. All right. So here are the few things that you need to keep in mind, George. All right. So <clears throat> though you're using the conserve strategy, you want to keep into mind uh, the method that you're going to be using the strategy in. Lucas is just gone here with this one. So you want to keep in mind the method you're going to use the strategy in. All right. So for an eight lap race, you want to use four two two which is the best method uh, for eight lap races. Or if you're gonna be using soft tire, soft tires, you wanna do a three, three, two. All right. In the wet race, uh, it's, it's the same as starting with hard tires as you will get a lot of tire, tire wear on wet tires. So you wanna go for four, two, two on wet tires. If it's a, if it's a, a situation where you're getting six laps on wet tires, then you can go up to 5-3. So once you know the method that you're gonna be using the strategy in, then it's gonna be pretty easy. All right, so you know you can serve for four and you boost the remaining four. All right, just like I'm doing here, you can serve for four and you boost the remaining four. But we're going up against a maxed out opponent here and he got a good start and a good qualifying. But we're still going to try our best to see how far we can finish. <laughs> KJ said he's ready, yelling at his drivers to go forward. All right. Oliveira. Albon is better than Grosjean Max. Yeah, level 7 Albon is better than a Max Grosjean. All right, so we're going to go to pit now with both drivers, so we're going to boost them into pit. So if you have a level 7 Albon, he's better than a Max Grosjean. Could we use soft conserve on 8 laps, RK? Yep, definitely. I, I, have, I have been trying to do this video uh, for the soft conserve strategy RK but I've just been busy so I'm trying I'm gonna try to do it today though as I want it to come out tomorrow I'm gonna try to get it done today so look out for that video tomorrow definitely gonna try to get it done today no matter what no matter how busy it gets for me I'm definitely gonna try to get that done I've been trying to get that done for about a week now but yeah definitely trying to get it done Hey Mush, what's up? Welcome to another stream. All right, we're now in our boost phase. Our rival is pretty well off here, and our drivers are not overtaking. <laughs> the game, you can know races that the game wants you to win, and you can know races the game wants you to lose. This is a game that, this is a race that the game wants us to lose. This is why our drivers are not overtaking at all. They're just chilling, cruising around the track. Doesn't matter what we do, they're not gonna overtake because the game don't want us to win this one. This is a deck to our win streak. All right, so win streak checks comes in. 
you gotta know when a win streak check is in this is a win streak check and it's just not about our drivers sitting and, and cruising around the track this is a win streak check all right so as you can see our rival Albon overtake made his way up to third place or Albon is here chilling cruising with Kimi his friend <laughs> so yeah it's a win streak check so we're gonna lose this one as a win streak check I can know competitive race that I competitively lost versus a race that is a win streak win streak check you know where the system definitely wants you to lose now uh, because you've been winning too much and yeah once you find when these races are then you know you're going to be starting if you look if i lose the next two races i'm currently going to be in a losing streak all right so to break a losing streak once you lose three races back to back don't go for the fourth race in the high series bro you're gonna lose it's a losing streak you want to go down to a lower series race a lower series race down there win about three races down there to break the streak and you want to come back up all right that's the key to keeping all your things <laughs> just remember that one all right all right david gray says level seven magnuson level seven stroll or level six grosjean all right we're gonna take a look at that one all right, we got nine Kimi. That's pretty decent. I guess Kimi want to catch up to our Albon <laughs> that we got from that legendary crate. All right, so he's saying that level seven Magnuson versus let's see a Max Magnuson versus a Max Grosjean. It's pretty equal, I would say. Grosjean is better than on consistency in tires and overtaking. Alright, so let's look at Stroll. Stroll level versus level. Alright, uh, all right. so here you can see Grosjean over Stroll with Magnuson. So you can run a Magnuson Grosjean team there. And let level 7 Stroll sit by. As you can see, Grosjean is way, way better than level 7 Stroll. Alright, David? Okay. Right, let's get back to our main drivers. All right, George says, if both drivers have low tire wear and are close to each other, do you pit both drivers in stock? Yep, definitely. Don't be afraid to stock, George. Don't be afraid to stock. Now, what you want to do if 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 you if if you notice if you're gonna be if you're gonna be noticing your pit lap, all right? If you're noticing your pit lap that you're gonna be pitting both drivers in, what you can do is to give uh, one driver, the driver in front, give him some boost and keep the other driver in conserve so he can create a little distance so the stock is not bad. Alright, so once that dis little distance is created, the stocking won't be too bad. Alright, so you just want to give that driver in front a little boost so he get that distance in front of your rival's driver in front of your other driver so both of them too much let's go for the split strategy here so don't don't be afraid uh, to stop drivers in 2019 uh, if you're gonna go with both drivers in the pit at the same time let's say uh, Kimi is in ninth place here Alban is in 10th place and we put in our go to pit orders and they're gonna stock all right, if Albon overtake Kimi and went to pit first, Albon is going to come out with tires and Kimi is going to come out with no tires. <laughs> That's how it was in 2019. All right, it's not like that in 2020 here. It's way, way different. So once the drivers go in, they're going to get their tires. So don't be afraid to stack. What's the split strategy? All right, so the split strategy is... It should be coming out in a video tomorrow. So I can explain though. Uh, the split strategy is using one driver in hard tire, one driver in soft tires. 
All right. So if you if your if your drivers are polling like, let's say, Kimi polled at tenth place, Albon polled at twenty first. You want to use a reverse split, where you give the driver in front the hard tires, and you give the driver in the back the soft tires. So the driver in the front is going to use hard tires to hold the crowd in front of the driver with soft tires so he can overtake as much as possible before he goes to pit. Alright, so you gain a few positions there. That's the reverse split. Oh, we should go to pit here. That's a reverse split. Now the forward split is, let's say both your drivers uh, are pulling side on side and you're up against a well-known all right so our arrival has slow pit time <laughs> and you're up against somebody with that's very competitive that you know that you know is is uh that you know is a uh, pretty good he's a pretty good racer he has good strategy like you and his car parts is definitely about the same as you you want to use the forward split strategy in a case like that where you put the driver in front on soft tires and the driver behind on hard tires all right so the driver in front is going to boost off in front on soft tires and the driver behind is going to hold that grid behind him while the driver in front gets some distance so that's the forward split and the reverse split explained i'm going to make a video about it tomorrow so look out for that one No, Hutch hasn't responded to me as yet. I'm not sure if they're gonna. <laughs> I just sent them a message uh, to see if they're gonna. Anyways. What's up, Fantastia Deep? Welcome to another stream. Fantastia Deep is a good friend of mine, guys. Uh, she also has a YouTube channel. I'm gonna give her some support over her channel. She does uh music she's a dj so she plays music on her channel so once you're once if you're into music you know house music and so on you can go and give fantastia deep a check on her channel good friend of mine so you'll be in good hands over there all right so thank you for stopping by fantastia deep once again So this race is in the bag. Albon started in the back and still in the back. Though for arrival, Hamilton is going to go to pit. If he doesn't go to pit here, he's going to run out of tires. <laughs> he's not going to go to pit. <laughs> now we're on the DS DRS mode. DRS straight down. Overtaking there. That's a DRS mode if you didn't know. That portion of the track in Spain. That straightaway is DRS if you didn't know. All right, guys, so time has run away on us, <laughs> and I got to go get ready to go to work. <laughs> so I'm going to do one more race. I'm going to do one more race. <laughs> one more race, guys, as I didn't even notice that the time has gotten so, so late. TR0 said found a strategy. Awesome. If you want to share, you can go ahead. If you want to keep it to yourself, that's up to you. <laughs> TR0. Yeah, have to get to work, bro. Alright, so I'm going to do one more race. It's going to be our final race of the stream. It was an epic one. Really appreciate you guys. Thank you for your continuing support. You guys are awesome. All right. All right, so 
this is a common question that I get all the time. So I'm happy that somebody asked this question on the stream. George David. David says, if the rival has a far better car than you, what should you do? Nothing. You can't do nothing, George. You're gonna lose. <laughs> That's all. All right, bro. So, F1 Manager is a win and lose game. It's a win some, lose some kind of game. All right. So you're gonna lose some, and you're gonna win some. All right. So, if the rival polls in fourth and fifth, and you're polling, and you're polling in twenty and twenty third. Bro, you're going to lose. You know what I mean? So if you want to continue to race for race grade points, or you can just forfeit that race and get started into another race. All right? You're going to lose. It's a win and lose game. What we try to do is keep our win rate higher than our losing rate. That's what we practice over here at Game with King. That's what I try to teach. You know what I mean? to keep your win rate high and your lose rate low but you're gonna lose there is no person that plays this game there is no person that plays this game doesn't care if they have spent all their money on this game doesn't care if they're rich 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 and they can max out every single player we're going up against a boost player here <laughs> we're gonna give him a cry face well done good luck so it doesn't matter if you're super rich and you've maxed out every single part and you're pulling one, two every single time. There is going to come a time that, that you're going to lose. That's just how the game is. The other day I was racing. Uh, I, I don't know if you guys know VIP Guess. He's pretty maxed out. He used to be Legend 81 in the F1 Manager Discord server. So if you know Le Legend 81 in F1 Manager Discord server, that's the guy I'm talking about. He has spent a lot of money in the game. He's pretty maxed out. Majority of his parts. And I came up against him the other day with my 2019 team. <laughs> we matched with the 2019 with, with versus him. And I was and I was like, wow, we're going up against VIP guests here. Alright. It wasn't the stream racing in general. And he got beaten. With my twenty, uh, my twenty nineteen team beat his team. He was with his twenty twenty team, and we beat him. So, at some point, you're gonna lose. And once you know that, it's a win and lose game. Then it's all good. You know what I mean? You know, some races you win, some races you lose. That's just how it is. As long as you try to keep your win rate high and your losing rate low, you're good to go. Nice driving there by Alban. Loving that extra pull there by Alban. As we're conserving with the soft tires straight into pit here. Exactly, KJ. Him same one. Exactly. VIP guest. Good guy. I have nothing bad to say about him. He's a good guy. Let's see, or rival might think that his is Kimi could get in and out before us. He switched the wet. And we got out just before him. He's using that boost that gives you fast pit time on his Kimi there. And we got out just in front. Alright, so he's gonna run his Hamilton to pit in the fort. And that's not good. And he went to wet tires way, way too early there. So that's gonna give us the opportunity to make some distance. This is why you don't want to go to wet tires uh, too early. He's also using the rooster. So he's a pay to play guy. He spent crazy amount of money in the game. For, to have these boosts. Go, go, go guys coming out the pit. Go, go, go. What the? Get back to the game. Alright. Alright, so we're going to go back to pit. Hopefully you, both of our drivers can get in and out of pit. Uh, his Kimmy should run out of tires if he continues to go. Or Kimmy putting in some work there. Let's cut down Alban so we don't stock. 
We should get out of pit just in front. We're both drivers. Boost Albon now. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, guys, go. All right, so here's Hamilton. Uh, we want our Kimi to get past uh, these two cars. Who are those? I think it's Kimi and Verstappen. Lewis Hamilton and Kimi, rival Kimi. AI Kimi, I should say. So we want our drivers to get by. We want our Kimi to get into second place. And then then that would give his Hamilton. It's definitely going to... His Kimi, I should say, he's going to definitely need to go to pit here. If he doesn't, he's going to run out of tires. All right, so he went to pit with his Kimi. His pit time is going to be pretty fast. Hopefully, the number nine car can get in front. All right, so the number nine car is in front. So what we need now is for or Kimi to get around Lewis Hamilton and the rival Kimi here. And that's going to be pretty difficult for or Kimi. As Hamilton is the best wet driver in the game and we're doing up against the rival Kimi. <laughs> so yeah, that's going to be difficult. Let's see if Alban can make his way past Verstappen here inside line. Oh, Alban not going to make it past Verstappen. Yep, that was a good race. Well done. Good luck. So yeah, there we go. We lost. <laughs> so as I say, it's a win and a lose race. If we had just made one more position, we would have squeezed that win out of him. But that's all right. That's how it is. So yeah. That's how it is. Uh, do you change tires like at 25% rain? All right, so... This is what you want to know. Soft tires can run up to 50% in the rain. All right. So once you know soft tires, once you know uh, soft tires can run up to 50% in the game. So you know once in the weather, in the wet, soft tires can go 50% in the wet. All right, George. So once you know soft tires can go 50% in the wet, you know not to switch out wet tires right as the rain is about to start because soft tires can go 50 percent if if it's like 20 seconds to the rain and you're in the pits you don't want to switch the rain tires at 20 percent 20 uh 20 seconds in the race right 20 seconds to the rain you don't want to pit to wet tires at 20 seconds you want to go back to soft tires do one hard lap and come back around and put on your wet tires all right all right guys really appreciate you guys thank you guys once again for stopping by chilling here with me really appreciate you guys hope you guys do good in your opening round tomorrow your qualifying round tomorrow in the gp and we're going to be using the gp strategy for those of you who don't know the gp strategy this is the bonus that you get for sticking around uh, to the end of the stream this is a gp strategy so make sure you take note of it this is a strategy that we're going to be using. Uh, this is what I use in the GP events. And to get top 10 polls, both drivers poll in the top 10 with this strategy, with this tune. So you want to make sure that you're using this tune in your GP events. So there you go. If you have don't have the GP tune, the pit time is not as fast as we're used to, but it gets, it gets the job done top 10 polls for both drivers in the GP event. Make sure you use this tune in your GP. All right, guys. I'll see you guys. See you. Peace.